Hey guys, this is Ryan James Smith, and I just wanted to make a quick demo of a new shader that I've been working on for the past couple of days. And what the shader basically does is it takes uh, a rock static mesh and it blends uh, texture onto the rock based off of the static mesh's height map and the up vector in world space. So in other words, it's, it's really useful for things like snow for when you want to reuse a rock over and over again. Uh, you can uh, blend in snow with uh, a parameter that I have here called snow accumulation. And if I were to take this and start sliding it up, you'll notice that uh, snow starts to blend in onto the rock based off of its height map. And if I rotate underneath and light the underside, there's no snow on the underside of it. And this is really useful if you want to take the same rock and instance it around your level and rotate it and give it different scales. You could rotate it and the snow will always be on the top side and will always blend with the height map. Another thing that we're able to do is change the UV scale of each of our materials that we're blending in. So we have a rock UV scale here and uh, right now our static mesh is uh, UV space is uh, 512 by 1024 so we have to double the scale of our Y axis when we do this. So if I can come in here and plug a value into 3 and 6 you'll see that uh, uh, the rock kind of acts like a, a detail map and that it's tiling and uh, if we pull really far away we can get uh, some more uh, condensed results so this is good if you want to use this piece in the, in the background of a level you could punch up the uh, UV scale uh, and make uh, the scale of the object itself appear a lot larger so for now we'll leave it at 1.5 and 3 and um, we could do the same thing for the snow. Uh, we also have the ability to rotate uh, or rotate the texture of our rock material. That way, if you have uh, like a layered rock look, you could rotate it to uh, match up with the layers of your of your rock, which is uh, pretty useful. So I'll leave it at two for now. Uh, another cool thing we have is uh, fall off and power controls over our uh, up vector blend. So if I bring the power up, uh, the blending goes up a little bit to the very tip top of the rock. And we have uh, a power that does uh, something kind of similar. Uh, when you used uh, when you use both of them, you could uh, control the variation of your blend. And uh, one thing that's required uh, for you to have for the shader is uh, your tiling rocks normal map and height map. Right now I'm working on the ability uh, to make that optional as the shader instruction is getting pretty high. But if we turn up the tiling rock intensity, it adds into our height map blending. So we could just get some more variation. Uh, right now we have uh, the normal map influence for our blending turned off. But if we turn that up, uh, the normal map starts to affect the blending. Uh, from the the larger rocks normal map. So we can just break it up and get a little bit more variation.